The last couple of weeks have been pretty crazy with plenty of leaks around Nvidia's upcoming RTX 3000 series graphics card and up to this point we've seen the cooler, the irregular PCB specs for several of the GPUs as well as a complete launch schedule basically revealing Nvidia's complete release plan in detail and now for the first time ever we get to take a first glimpse of the first ever leaked benchmark results and 3D Mark Time Spy of what we think is an early RTX. 3080 engineering sample. Now this discovery is posted by Rogue Game who's running the site Hardware Leaks and it turns out this early 3080 sample is running circles around Nvidia's current 2080 Ti flagship. In today's video guys we're gonna take a look at this, we're also gonna dive into some new leaked specifications for three upcoming RTX 3000 GPUs. We got the 3090, the Ampere Titan as well as the 3080. All of this in this video, buckle up, let's get into it. Hey what is up guys? Guys, welcome to Warbin Hardware. My name is Warbin. I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and yeah, terrible accent. Now, before we look at the benchmarks, I think it's important to stress the fact that there is no 100% guarantee here that this GPU being tested is in fact a GTX 3080. With that in mind, let's look at the numbers. And again, all credits for this goes to Rogue Game for his discovery. As we take a look at this screenshot, there is simply no other way to describe this than. OMG. As we can see here, the gaming performance absolutely blows away the last generation flagship and it showcases that Nvidia is gonna have a spectacular RTX 3000 series launch later this year. Now according to this league benchmark, the early bird 3080 is beating the founders 2080 Ti by a whopping 31% in the 3D Mark times by benchmark. Now, in comparison, a traditional GTX 3080 Ti founders edition typically scores at 14,000 points. And as we can see, the rumored 3080 scores more than 18,000 in total, which is just insane and it shows the power and the IPC gain of this new Ampere architecture. I want to touch on pricing super quick guys because this is a, an interesting thought I have. So as you know, Nvidia asked 699 for the 2080 at launch. Let's assume Nvidia doesn't mess with pricing and let's say they keep each GPU tier price the same. That makes any sense? Well, that could mean that this GPU could cost us 699 US dollars. Now, regardless what GPU this is, we should be pretty confident that we are about to witness one of the big biggest GPU advancements in a very long time. Which uh, kind of begs the question, how can we be so sure that we're looking at a 3080, not a Titan or a TI model here? And the simple answer is, we cannot be. Because this is a new GPU that isn't recognized by 3 d Mark. we can only speculate. And for all we know, it could be a 3070 or the rumored 3090. But my gut feeling tells me that this isn't Nvidia's top flagship, but it doesn't really matter because the final performance will look a lot different regardless. Keep in mind this is an early engineering sample with a lot lower clock speeds. And speaking of which, according to the screenshot, the GPU clock was detected at 1935 MHz, which is way lower than what Nvidia is said to target for these GPUs, where as all the rumors suggest, a boost clocks way over 2 GHz. As for the memory clock of 6000 MHz, this is obviously a misread by the software due to the fact that this card is using what we think is the brand new GDDR6X memory. And so again, this reminds us guys that this GPU is an early engineering sample and performance will likely to improve and things should look a lot different as we're getting closer to launch. This kind of leads us over to specifications and according to this leak that just came in, Nvidia seems to yet again update some of the specs for the upcoming GeForce RTX 3000 where the upcoming 3080 seems to be getting an additional 1408 extra CUDA cores than against the RTX 2080 and the 3080 seems to be getting 10 gigabytes of graphics memory which is a bump of 2 gigabytes than against previous generation and it turns out we also got some new info around the mysterious 3090 or should it be called 3080 Ti? Well time will eventually tell, who knows right? Anyway guys, something worth having in mind, video card set is pretty well but we do find specs to be important because these cards have not entered mass production yet there is simply no way other than calling Jensen himself perhaps to confirm if the rumored specifications are actually real it is simply too early for that 
and it happens to be that Nvidia tends to change specs at the very last minute. And according to video card, the same goes for naming as well, and so the namings could also change. Now, I think most of this comes down to how powerful Big Navi turns out to be. Nvidia, they want to stay on top, and they will simply do whatever they can to achieve that. Anyway, recently, two leakers have shared some very similar specifications for the upcoming RTX 3000. Now, it is worth noting that the uh, Copite 7 Kimi correctly predicted a 100 Tensor Core GPU specifications months ahead of the launch. We're looking at specs for three possible GPUs or three models, the 3080, 3090 and the new Titan card. And again, this leak comes from not just one, but actually two these separate leakers. Now, keep in mind guys, Nvidia is planning to take Ampere into production in August. And so before uh, they have entered mass production, none of these numbers should be considered final. But if these specifications and namings turn out to be correct, it could mean that the TI version of the GeForce RTX 3080 is being scrapped in favor of the 3090. Previously, graphics cards with the 90 extensions were synonymous with dual GPUs under the hood, but this may not apply any longer. Now keep in mind guys, as we're looking at these comparisons, Turing and Ampere are two very different designs based on two different manufacturing techniques. While Turing is 12 nanometer, Ampere is said to be 7 or 8, we've seen, we've actually seen leaks mentioning both. The point is, because we look at two different architectures, where Ampere is being manufactured on a more advanced node, we expect things like IPCs or instructions per clock cycle to go up on Ampere, so in other words, this shouldn't be seen as an apples to apples comparison, but it still gives us an idea how these upcoming GPUs line up alongside each other in terms of just raw numbers. As we can see, upcoming Titan is believed to be getting 24 gigabytes of graphics memory, and the number of CUDA cores also takes a jump from 4608 to 5376, and at the same time there is a slight bump in memory frequency. The 3090 is, uh, according to a few rumors, said to be replacing the 2080 Ti, and we see that the new card is getting 896 extra CUDA cores, and it's also receiving 1 gigabytes of extra memory. And the 3080 is said to get 2 more gigabytes of VRAM, and it seems to land at 10 gigabytes. And the memory frequency also takes a huge step here from 14,000 to 19,000. Clock speeds, as well as RT and tensor core numbers, still remains unknown. Speaking of ray tracing, according to a recent leak, Nvidia could be going with a so called traversal co processor to take care of all the ray tracing calculations. A very interesting theory, and in case you're interested in learning more, I have a video linked up down below that covers this in greater depth. As release date guys, we believe that Nvidia will enter mass production in August of 2020, and as of right now, it seems like Nvidia is in the design validation test. As for a final release date, we are expecting a media event with benchmarks and a lot more in September 2020. With that said, I wanna know guys, what do you think about this recent leak so far? Are you impressed or are you disappointed? Share your thoughts down below. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos to learn more and I will see you guys in the next video.